Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome. Hey, Tina, I'm glad you're able to make it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Lynn, and you have found yourself in my Akashic Records Masterclass. I offer this free session every Friday at 11.30, and I am in New Jersey. I just got done with my very first Pilates class, and it was so intense, I feel like vomiting. That was really, really, I'm a, I'm a twice certified yoga teacher, and I was like, Pilates, Shmilates, this, you know, this is not going to be anything. <laughs> and I, I have to tell you that it kicked my ass. I'm proud to say that Pilates kicked my ass. So anyway, um, all right, we're being live streamed. Uh, just keeping it real. Listen, I'm a twice certified yoga teacher. The shirt literally says Black Dog Yoga. I received my first certification in 2005. I received my second in 2011. But I have to admit, I've been a bit dormant lately since COVID and all. And I was like, my girlfriend was like, oh, it's my birthday. And I said, let's get together. And she goes, let's do a Pilates class. So I drove from New York to New Jersey. We did the Pilates class. <laughs> and about 45 minutes in, I'm like, I'm dizzy and I want to vomit. I can't do this anymore. So it was a very humbling experience. Thank you. I'm very humbled. <laughs> Good Lord. Lots of energy. Feeling strong. Felt everything. My core was like, what are you doing, man? It's been a minute. <laughs> anyway, so here's what's really exciting for me about today. Hi, hey, Nancy. Welcome. Um, Z. Hi, Z. I like that, you're, that your name is Z Heels. Hi, sweet man. Oh, hi, Veronica. Thank you so, so much. You're so welcome. Listen, we normally have three or four people that show up, but I did this course with my mentor, Melanie, and she goes, cast energetic projections into the future of what you want. And I'm like, cast energetic projections into the future for what you want. She goes, you go into the quantum field and then you propose something like, imagine if. And I said, all right. Imagine if a hundred people signed up for the master class, and I want you to know, <laughs> as just before logging in, ninety-eight of you had signed up. I'm not even kidding. I'm, I'm, my mind is blown. <laughs> the magic of quantum prosperity, right? Right. I'm telling you, Tina shares the same mentor that I do, Melanie Ann Lair. So I wrote to Mel this morning. We were we were talking about something. I said. You're not going to believe what happened. I said, I've been listening to you for three and a half years, but I feel like I finally heard you. And I cast an energetic projection and look what happened. At first I was like, oh, look, 26 people signed up. Oh, look, 40 people signed up. Oh, oh look, 77 people have signed up. And now I'm like, oh my God. So welcome everyone. Absolutely. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There's a couple people that I want to introduce you to. Uh, all right, there's 25 here already. Oh my God. Hi, Gabriella. Hi, Catherine. Hi, sweet girl. Catherine's one of our regulars. She She's used to this. Austin. Hi, Austin. Oh, Matiku. Hi. So um, <laughs> I'm just, I'm blown away by all of this. There is so much love, so much goodness that's going to come out of this. So I want to introduce you to a couple of people. Um, there's one person that here, it's here. Her name is Kat. And she is one of the women that work with me. So you'll actually see my picture on Kat's little box. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my laptop in front of me. I'm on in my car on my phone. Just got done with the Pilates class. That was a thing. Oh, look, there's 35. Good Lord. So um, Kat is someone that is kind of in the background, making sure that everything you guys need from me, you're going to get. And then there's two people that are coming and their names are Penny and Terry. And Penny and Terry are two of my graduate students. So they just did a year of training with me in which I teach seven classes and we go through the seven chakras and I teach about 28 extraordinary psychic healing tools and techniques, things to teach you how to read the Akashic records, things to teach you how to remove trauma, how to remove entities, how to talk to the dead, how to be a medium, how to be a pet psychic, how to open up your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, your claircognizance, your Claire Alliance, your Claire Gusto, like all of your psychic abilities. And 
what this does is it releases energy that's been trapped inside of you. And as that energy gets released, you know, Einstein's theory, hi, Laura, Einstein's theory of relativity is that E equals MC squared. So you have to understand that everything in the universe is made of energy. Hi, Nicole. And I basically said, thanks for saying hi, you guys. I have basically, um, if the big E stands for God's energy, then the equation M equals MC squared is that mass, any matter traveled at the constant, which is the speed of light squared, instantly combat, converts to pure white light energy. So what this means is that we are all God. We are all made up of God stuff and God particles, right? Um, <laughs> I know, it's so sweet. Oh, Tina, I love that you're here, babe. I got your message. I'm delighted that you're able to make it. Um, hi, Cheyenne. Look at your beautifulness. I'm so happy that you're here. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Donna Joe. Welcome, everybody. Hi, Julie. Aww. So, ooh, the energy is starting to come in already. So what's going to happen is I'm going to tell you my journey with the Akashic Records. And if you guys are brought here, I mean, my ego would love to go. <laughs> I did this. I didn't do this. I had nothing to do with this. It's your masters, teachers, loved ones, and lords of the records have brought you here. I am a servant. I am a servant to God. I channel. I'm a psychic medium of full body trans channel. I was born as an oracle. And what that means is that I um, am basically of service to God. And I channel Jesus and I channel Mary Magdalene and I channel Hathor and I channel, there's like 21 of them that I channel, you know, um, Sanat Kumara. Uh, I channel Ashira, uh, God's wife. I channel, um, Lady Nada. I, I channeled, oh my God, most recently I channeled Gay Landriel and she's the queen of the fairies. And she came in to say, thank you for remembering us. Because one of the exercises that I teach at the end, after you've released darkness, um, basically I'm a transformational alchemist. So I help people turn their darkness into light, like how an alchemist turns lead into gold. And after we remove, you know, whatever's been held within you, energy that you said, I can't experience this. And it actually stays with you when you release that. We ask the fairies to borrow their fairy wand to fill the space with God's golden light. And they love being of service to us that way. So um, anyway, she came by recently. So in all of that, and you guys can understand, I used to be a banker. I used to be a stockbroker. I used to be a financial advisor. I used to manage a half a billion dollars. Like I was so into the world of stuff and, and Beverly Hills and the private bank and, you know, stuff like purses and shoes and, and pearls and suits and stuff. And now I show up to these master classes in a freaking yoga t-shirt because <laughs> like none of that matters. None of, and you can have it all. If you want that, you can have it. But really the thing that matters most, your soul's journey is for you to remember who you are. So I call myself, she who remembers. Yeah, Nicole, that, that was my background. Um, I, I start, I was given a $200 million book of business and I parlayed it to a half a billion dollars. And then I was like, yeah, I can't do this anymore. I got to go do God's work because people would sit in front of me and their dead uncle would be like, tell them to invest in this. And I go, Hey, what about investing in this? And he goes, you know, I've been thinking I should do something like that. And then he'd do it and, you know, make a lot of money. But I, like, I would, I would hide who I was. And then one day I realized I couldn't hide anymore. So I always used to say, you know, like if you want to clear a room, you tell people that you can, you know, you sell insurance, right? For estate planning. Nobody wants to talk to you. Nobody wants to talk about insurance. Nobody wants to talk about dying. But now if you want to clear a room, people go, what do you do for a living? If I like you, I'm going to be like, oh, I'm a spiritual advisor. But if I don't want to deal, deal with you, I'm like, I channel Jesus. Everybody's gone. <laughs> Nobody wants to deal with you. I wear this hat in the airport that literally says, I love Jesus. And I call it the sorting hat. Because the people that love Jesus, they're going to come close. And the people that, you know, are freaked out. Anyway. Okay. So I'm so excited to have you all here. Thank you so much for being here. Greetings from the south of France. Oh my God. You know what's so crazy? Magdalene has us. She's calling us. Magdalene, Mary Magdalene is one of the beings that I channel. She's calling us forth. We're actually going to go to the south of France in June. We're going to go to her cave. She's one of the goddesses that I channel. And she and I wrote a book together back in 2021. Jesus and Magdalene came to me and they asked if I would channel her every day for a year. And I did that. And we went through the 365 lessons of a course in miracles. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that body of work. 
but Jesus channeled this incredible book back in 1965 through a professor at Columbia University. So Magdalene and I went through the lessons and she brought forth her divine feminine wisdom and we turned it into a book. And uh, anyway, so I took a bunch of people on a retreat to Egypt earlier in the year. And when we got back, she said, it's, it's time to come to France. So we're going to France in June. All right, so my journey with the Akashic Records began when I was 11 years old. I'm 62 now. So at 11 years old, my mom had a friend named Kathleen and she used to give my mom books. And Kathleen like, was like a woo-woo hippie chick. And my mom was like this straight-laced teacher. Oh, thanks, Alexandra. I love your energy too. Thank you so much for being here. So this book was called The Sleeping Prophet and it chronicled the life of Edgar Casey. And he was this man who would go into a trance and he would bring information back. And the information was, he would tell people about their past lives and he would tell them how to heal whatever illnesses they had. So say there was a there was a young boy one time and he was just nervous all the time. And Edgar was able to tell his mom that he had actually died in the Civil War. He had a, a gun buckshot that was shot into him and he died and there. So he still had like PTSD trauma from that. So there was a, a solution to heal him and he had to eat like baked apples. So Edgar Casey would recommend treatments eating a certain food to be able to heal people. Anyway, I was fascinated by this. My sister read the book too. She went into nutrition and I went into all things spiritual. Like I wanted to know about past lives, you know, all that kind of stuff. So at that time, the only way to get your Akashic records read, you had to go to India, you know, that wasn't going to happen. So I, I decided to find out everything I could though about past lives and things like that. I became trained in doing that kind of work. I wanted to find out, you know, what it meant to be a psychic, what it meant to be a medium. I have 31 certificates. I've been doing this work for a very long time. I started my training in 1989. And then all of a sudden in 2017 on freaking Facebook, one of my girlfriends goes, hey, I just got trained to read the Akashic Records. Who wants a training? And I call her on the phone. I'm like, hey, you have to read my Akashic Records. I've been obsessed with this. And then she read the records and I was just blown away. And so I said to her, how did you get trained to do this? Sorry, I'm sitting in a car. It's 41. My nose is running. I'm a little cold, but I'm fine. <laughs> I'm too excited to be cold. So she says, I studied with this woman who studied with this woman, who studied with this man, who studied with this woman, who studied with this woman named Linda Howe. Now, Linda Howe is known as the quintessential teacher of how to read the Akashic Records. In fact, she's written a book called How to Read the Akashic Records, little orange book. So I start following Linda Howe on social media. And then she announces that in January of 2018, she's going to lead a three-month training program. It was $850. I thought that was so much money at the time. And she was going to teach people how to read the Akashic Records. So I signed up for this thing. Short of giving my cat up for medical experiments, man, I would have done anything to be in this class, right? Like when the soul calls you, it calls you. So I signed up for this class. There's 48 of us around the world on a platform that looks like this. It was called Learn It Live. And Spirit showed me a vision that someday I was going to be doing something like this. Well, here we are. Here we are all these years later. So the first time I opened the Akashic Records, you say a prayer. Part of it is said aloud. Part of it is said silently. And then the records open. And it literally feels like a shift in energy. There's literally like a vibrational consciousness you you shift into a different frequency so you go from beta into theta almost at the edge of being in delta it's like that that place of being in a deep trance so you guys will see because i'm an oracle that when one of you gets chosen and cat's the one who's going to choose you when she chooses you your masters teachers loved ones and the lords of the records are who i will channel when I do this. Now, some of you may have seen, uh, we have recordings of these, they, they're public, they go on Facebook, they go up on YouTube. So if you get chosen to read, make sure you're okay with, with being public. And I always say to people, if you don't get chosen today, and there's a lot of you today, there's 35 of us that have gathered together, please come back because I do this all the time. I love to do this. This is my great joy in life to be able to share the gifts that I have with people and so that you guys can get introduced to the kind of work that I do in the world. So first time I go and I open the records, I say the prayer. These beings start jumping up and down and they're screaming at me and they're going, 
halls of a menti, halls of a menti, halls of a menti. And I'm scared out of my mind. And I close the records really quickly and I'm shivering. And I type to Linda and I go, Linda, Linda, what happened? What does this mean? She goes, well, do you know what the halls of menti are? And I said, I don't. So I went to Google and it said, Thoth the Atlantean. And it's in this book called The Emerald Tablets. Now, I happen to have it on my shelf because I buy all things spiritual. I'd never read it. But Thoth talks about the Halls of Amenti, which were, what are the Halls of Amenti? Let me tell you. The Halls of Amenti is where the Akashic Records were kept in Atlantis. And then they were moved to Egypt. And I'm like, my mind is being blown. Like, you know that great little emoji with like mind so I go back in and she and my teacher, Linda, she said, go back in and ask them to slow down and to calm down. And I'm like, I go back in and I'm like, hello, <laughs> is there anybody here? And they're like, welcome back, beloved. We're so excited to see you. You haven't consciously allowed yourself to remember us since Atlantis. And I said, you know, like, what's going on? And they said, you are a guardian of the Akashic Records. And I was like, what does that mean? And they said, it is your responsibility to teach others about the Akashic Records, to do readings for others, to teach them the way that you've been taught. And I was like, oh, man. All right. I'm all in. And it changed my life. I got trained. Oh, my God. That year, you guys, I'm just realizing this. So I did the training January, February, March. In April of that year, I retired from financial services. I woke up one day. It was April 18th. I'll never forget this. And Spirit said to me, today's the day you quit your job. And so I wrote to my boss, my boss's boss, my boss's boss's boss. And I went four levels up. And as a financial advisor, man, you have a laptop. So that day I had to go turn in my laptop and my keys. And like, it was just done because I was then going to be, a, you know, doing this work for the rest of my life. So that's been, huh, wow. What is that? Years ago? four, five, six, six years ago. So this has been my life. And I started small. I used to have people come to my house. Then COVID happened. And then Zoom happened. And then all of a sudden it was like, Learn It Live became this. So I got certified as an advanced Akashic Records practitioner. And I certify people in that same way. If you guys have any desire, if you feel compelled to want to learn, how to do this. And you guys, it's, it's, it's so easy. You just, you open your heart, you open your mind and spirit will come in and they'll show you things and they'll tell you things and you can help people. And it's like the greatest service that I do to humanity. And I meet up with the most extraordinary people. So the Akashic records are a realm. It's almost like the universe's eye cloud of every thought you've ever had every word you've ever spoken, every action you've ever taken through all lifetimes. So imagine that our soul is like a tree. Oh, Larkin, I love that. Larkin says that, that they're studying the Emerald Tablets. Yeah, that means Thoth is calling to you. Thoth, by the way, was one of Yeshua's, one of Jesus's incarnations and Melchizedek and, and lots of others. And we actually have someone here today who is uh, another incarnation of Jesus that's walking here on planet earth. My beloved soul brother, Austin is here with us today. Austin, it's so good to have you with us. Um, you know, when you meet people in your souls, like go family home, you know? So anyway, um, okay. Kat's going to choose one of you and we're going to do a reading for you. When you have your records opened, what happens is everything that you have chosen to do in a particular lifetime. So imagine that our soul is like a tree. There's the trunk of the tree. There's the roots. There's the branches. No, there's the limbs, the branches, and then there's the leaves. Each leaf is literally like an incarnation that you've had. And all of those leaves of all the things that happened to you in a lifetime are kept in this book, these books of the Akashic Records. So it literally... You know, some people, it looks like a library. Some people, when I look at it, it looks like these long scrolls, like ciphers. And then when they un, when they unroll them, they're like made of light and light language. It's written in light language. Everybody has a different, different view of what it looks like. But I have a dear girlfriend named Wendy. She and I teach together. And Wendy, 
reads the Akashic Records and her clairvoyance is wide open. So when she does your readings, man. So I train people. I train people how to read the records. They have to do 25 readings. And then I certify them. Now, I test them before I certify them because I know I know about 10,000 years of my lifetimes and, and a couple other stuff off world. But if someone is in the zone and I ask them a question about one of my lifetimes, they'll go right to the answer. And, you know, sometimes they get nervous testing in front of the teacher, but I've, I've done thousands of readings and I've, I've taught hundreds and hundreds of people and I've certified over a hundred different practitioners. So if you guys want a reading and you don't get read today and you want to have a reading again, oh, and I'm running a little special right now where I'm doing these 15 and, and 30 minute readings and I'm offering a discount on it and cattle drop that information. But I have a whole bunch of people that do these readings and oh good okay so i want to introduce you to two more people this is penny and terry and penny and terry are two of my favorite people in the world um penny and i and her husband and a whole group of us we just got back from egypt earlier in the year so penny and terry hi nicole hi sweetheart i just saw you on the screen hi regina welcome thank you so much for being here um so penny and terry are two of the people that i mentioned earlier they have just completed uh, the graduate training with me, and they are now certified to teach my cornerstone class that's called the Quantum Akashic Transformation Course. And it's an eight-week course, and you learn these 10 amazing tools, including how to read the records. And they're going to be teaching this class in February. So I'm very, very excited for that. Um, so we'll drop some more information about that as well. Let me just go back in here. Hi, Destiny. Hi, Deborah. Hey, sweetheart. So good to have you guys here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let me see if there's anything else I need to let you know. Okay, just thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Kat, it yeah. is now. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Kat, it is now for you to choose who it is that is to receive a reading today. Okay. Julia. Julia. Okay, great. I am, Julia, are you up for this? Okay. All right. Can you unmute? Hello. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Hello. So, hi. Welcome. So spirit has divined for this to happen. Um, Julia, oh. I want you to come up with th two or three questions that you want to ask of the Akashic Records. I'm going to say the prayer. I'm going to bring in the energy of your, the Lords of the Records and your masters, teachers, and loved ones. What I need from you, my love, is I need your full legal name, like how you would sign a legal document. Okay, um, Julia, and I spell it. B J E L I C. And how do you pronounce that? Bielich. Bielich. Okay. And where where are you from? Um, I'm from Austria. Ah, thank you so much for being here with us. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So don't tell me what your questions are. I say a prayer. Part of it is loud, part of it is silent. I I will then bring forth, and guys, now that it, it probably isn't going to be me, Lynn, with my dazzling personality, because when I go in and they come in, they talk through me, and it's a, it's, they literally push me back, and they come in into my body. I don't know if you guys have ever seen trans channels before, but it's a little bit of a trip. So, um, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go on this journey. I want to thank you all for being here. I'm very very excited. So, Julia. Here we go. Me too, okay. yeah. <laughs> okay. And so we do acknowledge the forces of light, asking for guidance, direction, and courage to know the truth as it is revealed for our highest good and the highest good of everyone that we are connected to. Oh, Holy Spirit of light. Help me to know Julia in the light of the Akashic Records, 
to see Julia through the eyes of the Lords of the Records and enabled me to share the wisdom and compassion that the masters, teachers, and loved ones of Julia have for her. Mm, the records are now open, beloveds. Mm, we welcome you. We thank you for your presence, beloved Julia. We have invited you to come to be with us. We have, shall we say, made arrangements we thank you for listening. We thank you for heeding our call, beloved one. Mm, beloved, come to us with your questions and allow us to be of guidance to you. How may we serve you, precious one? Mm. Thank you very much mm. for being here right now. Mm. Um, thank you. Mm. Um, I would like to ask how, what my my real purpose is in life. Mm. Mm. Beloved, do you know how you have a love of colors? You appreciation of light. You must understand that each color maintains a certain frequency within it. For you to apply your love and appreciation of color can be done through a way of designing clothing, painting, designing a home, ways that you bring your creativity to light. Mm. For you to practice and learn to understand the art of mm, what is feng shui would allow you to create an environment within people's homes so that they could have the experience of the brightest light, the highest frequency within their homes. Mm, beloved, for you to take a blank canvas and allow yourself to draw, for you to paint, for you to use the frequency of light through colors, would allow you to within you, one moment, beloveds, would allow you to begin to open within you the pathways of remembering the purpose that you have, which is to bring light to yourself as well as to others. The colors that you wear bring a brightness to the world. Your Sole purpose, beloved, is to do the work of creating pathways that align people with their higher frequencies. This is done through your application of the use of colors. Do you understand? Do you resonate with what we are saying to you, beloved one? Hmm. Mm, not not really. This I is thought it, mm -hmm. it is outside of how you have trained yourself to be. Mm -hmm. We are yeah. asking 
to step outside of what you have considered to be your comfort zone. Okay. We would ask you to look at pictures of flowers that have a multitude of hues, a multitude of species within them. Look at the colors that attract you. They will speak to you. Allow yourself to go to a botanical garden, if you will. Allow yourself to make a journey to Amsterdam for the Tulip Festival. Allow yourself to be in a garden of light. Allow plants to speak with you. This is one of the gifts that you have that has been dormant for you. For you to put yourself in this other direction would bring you the greatest sense of satisfaction for what you have thought to be your sole purpose has been built off of mm, a sense of not wanting to, shall we say, upset the apple cart to be in conformance with what has been familiar to you, what has existed within we could say, your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Always expect the unexpected, beloved one. Okay. And is there dance also in important? Beloved, when you move your body in dance, allow yourself to wear colors that express that. Understand that mm, the art of feng shui, the art of coloring and the use of colors is dance that is applied to objects. The way that you move your body through dance is one expression. Imagine if you could dance with colored veils, if you could dance and move and let each movement be an expression of light as you do so. Can you marry these two together? Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Indeed, beloved one. Beloved one. Allow us. One moment there is an interference. Allow us to assist you begin conversation with us we will respond allow yourself to listen allow yourself to hear okay. allow continue to guide you i will we thank you for your presence beloved thank you indeed Mm. This transmission is complete. Mm. Quick closing prayer. Mm. I would like to thank the masters, teachers, and loved ones for their love and compassion. I would like to thank the lords of the Akashic Records for their point of view. I would like to thank the Holy Spirit of Light for all knowledge and healing. The records are now closed, amen. The records are now closed, amen. The records are now closed, amen. <laughs> thank you very much, Lynn. Welcome. Did you get what you wanted? Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's never what we expect. Yeah, no. They usually come out of left field. Mm -hmm. But it's good. It's really, really good. Hmm. So I thank you all for being here. I invite you back. I welcome you. If you would like to learn how to read the records... Kat, can you just drop in the chat, my love? 
the the link for the class. There's a class that yes. I'll be there's a class that I'll be teaching later in the year, uh, March. Penny and Terry are teaching in February. They are magnificent. Uh, we have a membership. We have a presence on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. If you can't find me, you're not looking. We have specials. We have a website. Lots of ways that you can work with us and lots of ways that you can participate with us. And again, just from the bottom of my heart, I say I love you and I thank you. It is my delight to be of service to you guys always. That's it for me. Thanks, Lynn. You're so, so welcome. My pleasure, my pleasure, my pleasure. We'll see you guys again soon. Okay, bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you. You're so welcome.